there's a lot of things covered in the q a section after new in this one is very very important it's regarding the survival of neil will neil make it and the competition this is what he said 那呃，从竞争的角度来讲，将来这两三年、两年吧，我认为还是至关重要。From a competition standpoint, the next two, three years will be extremely important. 其实不是每个人都能过得了这两年啊。Not everyone will make it through the next two years. 所以我们也得确保我们能过这两年啊。So we are also working hard to ensure that we can make it past. The next two to three years. So, actually, this we in very early days, we expect that in the next two to three years, we will make it past the next two to three years. For us, we predicted early on that 2024 and 2025 will mark the beginning of the finals in the EV race. Start. It doesn't mean that when you get to the finals, you will be eliminated. It's not like that. And simply making it to the finals doesn't mean you won't be eliminated later on. 啊，决赛穿以后还要经历差不多十年左右的时间，呃，才可能这个尘埃落定啊。You need at least another ten years for the dust to settle and be safe from elimination。就是也就是说，你问我说这个行业真正的终局是什么时候才能看清楚？我觉得三二年到三五年。So if you ask me for the auto market, what will the final form look like? I think 2032. 2035. 大概全球的汽车格局，呃，企业之间的竞争格局，在那个时间点，你才可能看得清楚一些。Only until then can you really separate the losers from the winners, the com the competitors and the copycats. 所以这两三年确实会非常残酷。So the next two to three years will be very brutal. 一方面，你不能把力气都用尽了。One aspect is to not use all your strength right now and completely exhaust ourselves. You 肯定还得留着力气参加后边的决赛 Because you will still have the EV elimination finals race to compete in. 你不能说我参与了一下资格赛，比如说我把各种东西都降下来，我这后面没子弹了 So we can't like say lower everything down price wise. Then we'll be out of bullets later on. 你就算出出现了又怎么样呢？你上来就被干掉了，你可能死在二六年和死在二四年没等子区别。Even if we make it out of the finals, if we're out of bullets, we might be eliminated in 2026. There's no difference than being eliminated in 2024. 那呃，至于谁能够参与最后的竞争 ？In regards to who can participate in the finals， 我想讲一点，就是汽车行业，这是我一直的观点，汽车行业不是赢者通吃的。I want to make a point very clear: the auto industry isn't a winner-takes-all industry. Cars themselves are very sensitive to policy regulation. Now, add to that the energy revolution. The 因素，再加上了数据与全球的这个呃数字治理的这个数据保保护啊这方面的一些因素。Add to that privacy concerns and data protection elements. You find it will be very complicated. It will be very complicated. That, just like recently, we have seen that the United States Treasury Department has started to hope for China to conduct a tariff inquiry into the Chinese inflation. Also, we saw recently the Americans raising interest rates and the EU looking into Chinese EV subsidy investigation. You will find that you have already such a situation. 就是那在这样一个大的环境下边，就是全球的汽车的格局。These will all offer you clues. In this macro environment, the structure of the entire auto market in the world 到底会往哪个方向走，其实还是有很多不确定因素的。Will head in which direction? There's still a lot of unknown variables to it. 所以你把时间和空间两个维度考虑进去，汽车行业不是一个速胜任的地方。So incorporating time and space into your thinking, the auto industry isn't an instant win industry. 汽车行业不是一个赢者通吃的逻辑。And logically, it's not a winner takes all. 那你的竞争对手是谁呢 ？Who is your competitor? 是你自己，是吧？就你只要把你的产品做好，你的产品做对。Your competitor is yourself. As long as you make the product good. Make it right. Your experience is good. Your service is good. You will be supported by your customers. 
make the experience better, service better. This will support your customer base. You don't need to create your own market. You will have permanent customers. And don't hope for there's only us and not them kind of situation. This isn't a enter with a clean knife, leave with a red knife situation. I believe in this industry that cooperation is bigger than competition. The biggest competitor is yourself. I absolutely agree with him. And the fact that he has everything mapped out and he's looking way ahead and he's saving the bullets for later on, this gives me a lot of confidence that Neil will for sure survive. Now, I can't say the same for a lot of other companies here in China because on the ground here in China, you're seeing a lot of EV companies already getting wiped out, pretty much gone. Uh, some of the companies, Wattmeister is pretty much essentially gone. Artfox is still there, but I think soon they might be gone as well. We're in a completely different time frame right now because right now there's no more EV subsidy to incentivize buyers to buy EV. Instead, they're choosing hybrids and EREVs, those extended range EVs. And by 2026, 2027, there won't even be tax exemption incentives for people to buy EV. It will be an all out, just product based competition for everybody. By then, people won't be buying your product because you don't have to pay taxes or there's a little subsidy for it. By then, it's do you have the best product? Do you have the best service? Are you better than the other guy? So from his perspective, focus on investing on yourselves to become the best will give you permanent customers. And I absolutely agree with that. A lot of new owners are pretty much stuck with Neo forever. They're not going to buy any other EV ever. The fact that he has everything mapped out and 10 steps ahead, this gives me tremendous confidence that after the dust settles, like he said, it's gonna take a while, but after the dust settles, Neil will come out on top. Also him mentioning that you can't just use all your bullets means that he still has a lot of bullets, a lot of ways to get more sales in the future. And that also gives me confidence that if things do turn even more harsher down the line, the economy wise, and also just sales number wise, then he will have the bullets to act accordingly. This is all very, very good and gives me confidence.